Hey, this is Terry Toots with something new for you this time. Today, we're going to take a look at the early access version of Terrigen Sky, a new software package from Planetside Software, the creators of Terrigen. Terrigen is well known for its stunning atmospheric capabilities, creating photorealistic clouds, mist, sunsets, skies, and more. Terrigen Sky brings together all that in a fresh new interface that gives access to Terrigen's powerful sky creation tools in a more intuitive format. Scenes that previously required some knowledge of Terrigen's node network can now be created using straightforward tools on a single screen. It also includes some nice presets to help you get started. Want to quickly change up the entire sky? Just try one of the pre-rendered presets. Want to change the sun position? Just click in the viewport where you want it to be. Or use the sunlight dial to move it around to the side. Want to turn the camera? Just middle click and drag in the viewport. Want to add or remove layers of clouds? Just click them on and off in the right side panel. Or move them up and down with the cloud height diagram. You can even bring in Terrigen's preset cloud types. For example, Cirrocumulus, or Alto Cumulus. As I mentioned before, Terrigen Sky is a new package, separate from the base Terrigen software, though it shares much of the same underlying technology. Sky can be used either in tandem with Terrigen or completely standalone. For example, files created in Terrigen Sky can be opened in Terrigen to add terrain or other elements to the scene. Additionally, Sky is able to export to other 3D software environments, such as Unreal Engine or Blender. In the early access version, exporting is done primarily through 360 HDRI skyboxes, which you can render in the Render tab using the spherical setting. For example, here I've exported a sky and used it as a backdrop for this example car stage in Unreal 5. The developers say that VDB export is on the roadmap, so there will be the possibility to export clouds in the future. One more interesting feature is called LiveSend 360. LiveSend allows you to export the full 360 preview in near real time to other programs as it is updating. This is where Terrigen Sky's different preview modes really shine, allowing you to choose which part of the panorama the live view prioritizes. For example, you can focus on updating the camera view, or switch to updating the full panorama as fast as possible to light a virtual stage or LED volume. There's a lot of cool features here, and I for one am excited about this new software and the possibilities it presents. A big shout out to Planetside Software for sponsoring this video, and I hope you'll join me as we explore Terrigen Sky in more depth over the coming days and weeks.